I do hope you're having a wonderful and fantastic day today. Today is just a beautiful day. It, well, at least here in San Antonio, it's 70 degrees and warm. What a beautiful day it is to go and do a spirit box session at a cemetery. Just a small spirit box session. But this is a cemetery that we've always drove by and never knew it was a cemetery until one day my wife happens to look over and sees a few headstones. And we're like, wow, we never knew it was there. And we drove by it so much. So we're going to go by and just do a small spirit box session and bring you right along with us. Now, if you haven't subscribed to me, please do so by hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell for future videos. And it's pink because I always give my salute to breast cancer awareness. So shout out to my neighbor, Miriam, who is doing wonderful. A lot of you have asked how she's doing. Uh, she beat it. Yes. She beat stage 3 cancer. So huge shout out to Miriam, my next door neighbor. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. Miriam really appreciates that. You, you, got, oh, you guys are so wonderful. Thank you so much. So without further ado, let's go on ahead and take this nice little leisure ride to the cemetery, shall we? And it all starts now. quick here at Dollar General because I forgot I needed some AAA batteries. I only have one battery left and the batteries I have on my spirit box is a little low. Guess it's time for me to start breaking wind. before I and my wife have found this out of pure accident forgive me for the wind blowing I do apologize but I'm trying to find a good spot to do a spirit box session and as you see right here someone was just buried it's 
So, I don't want to disrespect any graves. I'm actually getting a weird vibe. Consider baby land. I really don't want to do any babies. So we're going to go along here somewhere. What kind of platform is this? Is this some place that they would hold ceremonies? That's different. You know what? I think I'm gonna do my spirit box session right over in this area. Is there anybody here that'd like to talk to me? I come to you out of respect. Get out. Get out. I mean no disrespect to you. I come to you out of love and respect. I just want to give you a voice. Anybody like to talk to me? What's up? My rent. What's up with you? You can come right over to this box. Anybody like to talk to me? I'm not here to disrespect you. Just maybe if you have a loved one that might see this video, you could uh, give them a message. Mr. and Mrs. Sutton, you have a nice headstone. to talk to me? I'm a very likable guy. Ruby Mac. Ruby. Oh, Ruby Mac. When are you coming back? I'm 
sorry. Just having fun. Your name reminded me of a song. Anybody like to talk to me? I come to you out of love and respect. I mean no disrespect to you. I just want to give you a voice. I'm Eddie. What is your name? Watch your step. Have anything to say before I leave? Say to your loved ones, leave them a message. Until we meet again, find peace in heaven's hands. That's beautiful. Well, I will not bother you anymore. I just want to give you some love and respect. And if anybody is around me, you cannot follow me home or you'll have to uh, pay rent. Money's tight. I'll take it any way I can. God bless you. I'm just going to fix your, one of your statues fell. There you go, Miss Williams. You was a beautiful young lady. And you still are. God bless you. God bless all of you. Stay blessed. And I know the wind is blowing. I'm trying to get you out of the direction of the wind. One of the reasons why I keep moving around when I do a spirit box is because I don't like to set myself on just one spirit. I want to talk to all that's around me. And I want to give them all the same peace and love basically let them know that they're not forgotten and there's some here that are not forgotten and that's a blessing there's some that have flowers and then there's a few that doesn't but I let those that doesn't know that they're not forgotten and they're still loved and so that's why I keep moving around and I just don't set myself in one area hello Let me 
know in the comments below if you heard anything other than me. I just keep hearing talking. I mean, it could be the, the wind. I can tell you now, I bet you this place is a trip at night. found a roadside memorial. It's odd because of the area that it's in. It's really weird to see a roadside memorial here. So I'm gonna have to come back here and get some more info on this. It says, Miss You Mamacita. I don't know if you could see that. But yeah, I'm gonna have to come back and uh, get some more info on this. But this will be a future roadside memorial. Well, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I just, you know, it's funny. When I first went into the cemetery, I had a calming feeling when I first came in. But as I got out of the car and started walking around a bit, even though it was windy outside, I started getting just a weird vibe. And it's hard to describe. It's like a vibe like I should not even be there. I don't know. Maybe it's me. But... Hopefully I got something good. I'm going to go in and check. By now you've already noticed. Uh, so I do hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, before I go, I want to give my usual shout out. So I'll start off with my Patreons. And I want to start off this time with Rachel Hoyle. I want to wish you a congratulations. Uh, she had a beautiful baby girl, Lizzie. Hooray! God bless you, Rachel. And God bless the baby. God bless your whole family. 
You are so wonderful. Congratulations. I want to give a shout out also to Amanda's Blind and Chronic Illness Life. Make sure you go by and check out Amanda's channel and you will not believe it if you haven't already because she does some of the most amazing paintings. OMG, she really does. So go by, check her out, like and subscribe and tell her that Eddie and Jen sent you. I want to give a shout out also to Gigi Khan. Thank you Gigi Khan for just being wonderful. You really are. God bless you and thank you very much. And a shout out to Herman the Great. And make sure you go by and check out Herman's channel also. He is an awesome man. Awesome channel. Go by, like, subscribe, and let him know that Eddie and Jen sent you. And then everyone else is going to be down below, including some Twitter followers who I have not been able to shout out in a long time. I do apologize to you, but your name is going to be right here. And now for my final view. You know, anytime that you go into a cemetery, you always want to treat a cemetery with respect, especially if you go into a cemetery that's new to you. So you want to go in, just like being at a library, you start off quiet. Only difference is with a cemetery and you're doing a spirit box session, it's hard to be quiet. But you treat the spirits with the utmost respect. And when you're doing a spirit box session, let them know that you came out of love and light and out of respect. Always let them know that you're there and out of respect. And I stress that because there's been some YouTubers I watch that don't stress that enough. And a lot of them go out there to provoke. Be careful what you ask for. When you provoke, things can happen. And some people might be skeptic like I was at one time until I had things happen to me. I don't call myself a paranormal investigator. I call myself a paranormal enthusiast because I love the paranormal. I leave the professional part to the real people that go out and do these with uh, a lot of the gadgets that they use, you know, and God bless them. You know, so make sure you go by and check them all out. I have some down here below also, so you make sure you check them out also. And these are some awesome YouTubers that are down here. And also some awesome Twitter followers. But not to stray off of what I was talking about, treat the spirits with the utmost respect as if you would like to be treated in life. We have to remember that they were people at one time or place, so we have to treat them with the utmost respect. let's try doing that and that goes for a lot of you newbies that's out there exploring when you go in and what you don't see me do is I do a prayer before and I do a prayer after and the reason why I don't film it is because well there's some people out and about that don't believe in he so out of respect I don't film it but always make sure you cleanse your body when before you start an investigation and after and cleanse your mind. Very important. And also, if you get a chance, take some crystals. Say some prayers. They do benefit you. That's what I would do. And keep yourself grounded. Very important. So make sure that when you go out and you do these spirit box sessions, let them know that you come out of respect and they will respect your answer. But if you disrespect them, you may get more than what you asked for. And don't say I didn't warn you. And if you can do without it, please don't use a Ouija board. You really don't need a Ouija board to call on the spirits. You really don't. Ouija boards, if you don't close it right, well, expect a new plate at the table. So I want to thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart for watching. And make sure you check these uh, guys out that was down below. Wonderful channels right there. And just remember, you are wonderful too. 
Yes, you are. You're the most wonderful person in the world. There's only one you. So live life. Remember, today is soon be history, and tomorrow is still a mystery. So we have to live for the present. Till next time, stay blessed.